Hi, this is Brittany, and I'm here to talk to you about what is the app library on iPhone. The app library is now the real place where your apps live. It's the source of all truth of what apps are on your iPhone. That used to be the home screen, but it's not anymore. Now the home screens are there for decoration or because you want to organize your apps a particular way. They aren't necessary. In fact, you actually only need to have one. I'll show you what I mean. Here we are in the app library. If I move over one spot and I tap and hold on something to delete it, so I can say remove, it asks if I want to remove it from the home screen or if I want to delete it altogether. The deleting it altogether will remove it from the app library, which will also remove it from the home screen and means the app's not on your phone anymore. However, if I just say remove from the home screen, then it will still be in the app library. If you wanted to, you could have only one home screen and have everything else live in the app library then you would just have the good apps that you can see easily. Let's look at the app library. These two at the top, suggestions recently added, those are also just convenient access points for the real apps. The real apps are all down in these other categories, productivity, utilities, other, etc. You can't choose what categories your apps are in. They're chosen by the developers when they submit their app to the app store. The app store asks, what kind of app are you? And they're like, I'm productivity or I'm home automation. And that's how they're assigned into the app library. To show you an example of how these are categorized and maybe not the way I would categorize them, Look down here under social and we have Discord. I wouldn't put Discord in social apps because for me, I run the ADHD guild from Discord. So for me, Discord is a work app, but I don't get to choose. Because this is the test phone that I use to make my task management course, you'll see if I tap on productivity, there are a lot more productivity apps than originally when you just saw it in the app library. As a heads up, as you install and delete apps, some of these categories may show up in a different order than they did before. And up at the top, there's a search icon for app library. It is only searching the app library. It's not the same as when you search from other places on your iPhone where it might give you web results or app store results. This is only going to give you the results of apps installed on your phone. The plus side of this is it is super fast, whereas the other one is trying to compile a lot more information. So sometimes it can get a little slow. If you're in the app library already, it is a really fast way to launch the app that you're looking for. The app library has a few settings, not a lot, but a few. If you go into the settings app, home screen, here are the settings for the app library. One of the options here is to show notification badges in the app library. Those are those little red circles with numbers on them. Heads up that when they're all grouped together like that, it can get really overwhelming really quickly and may not give you relevant information. And that's app library for iPhone. Mm -hmm.